Most Excel users love keyboard shortcuts because they help us to complete tasks faster. But did you know that we can create our own shortcut keys in Excel? And in this video, we're looking at five ways that we can do that. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first method for creating our own shortcuts uses the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is at the top of my Excel window here. If I click on the drop down arrow, I can also display it below the ribbon. So it could be in either of those positions. Let me just move that back above my ribbon. Now, if I click on the down arrow, it gives me other actions that I can add to my quick access toolbar. You see, I already have four added, and these are the default actions. But I'm not restricted to these actions. I can go to more commands, and what that does is it brings up a list of all the commands that I could add to the quick access toolbar. On the left is the list of commands, and on the right are the icons currently in the quick access toolbar. So if I click on the drop down, we can see we can go into any of the existing ribbons and we can even select commands not in the ribbon. So when I come in here, you can see we have a list of all the icons that we can add. I'm going to add the speak cells action. So I'll select that and click add. Now something else that we can add that's quite nice is that at the top we have a separator. This will add a small white line so that we can easily group our icons into different sections. So I'll add that and then move that up. I'll click OK. And now in my quick access toolbar, you can see I have that separator and then the speak cells icon. Now you might be thinking, but we haven't created any keyboard shortcuts. Well, actually, if we press Alt, what we'll see is the key that we then need to press to run that action. So if I press five, create your own shortcuts. There you go, that then ran the speak cells action. Now a key thing to note, if I press Alt again, that in the quick access toolbar, that these are numbered by position. So if we change the layout of our quick access toolbar, that those shortcut keys could change. But for now, we've got a shortcut, Alt five. Create your own shortcuts. Speaks those cells to us. So that is method one for creating our own keyboard shortcuts. Did you know there's one thing better than keyboard shortcuts and that is automating Excel. Because if we automate Excel, we don't even need the keyboard shortcuts because Excel does the work for us. Well, that's what we teach you inside our Excel Academy. So if you fancy saving hours of time every day rather than just minutes and seconds, then head over to excelthegrid.com forward slash academy and find out how you can automate Excel to achieve more in even less time. The second method for creating our own shortcuts is similar to the quick access toolbar, but rather than placing the icons on the quick access toolbar, we're going to create our own ribbon menu. So I'm going to right click on a space in the ribbon and then go to customize the ribbon. This brings up the Excel options with the customized ribbon section selected. Now, similar to before, on the left, we have a list of all the actions that we can add on the right we have the breakdown or the structure of our current ribbon. So I can create a new tab. I'll select that tab, go to rename. I'm going to call it My Ribbon. I'll click OK. In there, it's also created a new group. So I'll select that, go to rename. And I'm going to call this Favorites. And I can select an icon for that and I'll click OK. Now in that ribbon, I can now add buttons just like I could with a quick access toolbar. So let's select the commands not in the ribbon. And then let's choose our speak cells option again. There we have speak cells. I'll click add. So that's now added that button into my ribbon. I'll close this by clicking OK. There we have my ribbon. I can select that and we can see the speak cells icon. So let's suggest I'm currently on the home ribbon and I want to access that speak cells icon. I'll press Alt. It then tells me that my ribbon is Y4. So Y4 and then speak cells is P. Create your own shortcuts. Fantastic. So that is how we can create our own shortcuts by adding buttons into our ribbon. The next method of creating our own keyboard shortcuts involves recording a macro. So if you have the developer ribbon, you can go there and go to record macro. If not, you can go to the view ribbon 
and then macros and then record macro. In here, we can give our macro a name. We're going to call this shortcut. We then get to say what keyboard shortcut we want to use. And it has to be control and then something. It can be lowercase, so control J, or we can be control shift J. So that's what I've just pressed. And this is going to save this in my personal macro workbook. If we want this shortcut to be available within the workbook, we can save it into a specific workbook. But if we want it available all the time, we should put it into our personal macro workbook. I'll then click OK. It's now recording the actions that I undertake. What I'm going to do is type Excel off the grid into a cell. And that's it. We're then going to stop our macro. So from view, macros, I can then click stop recording. So now anytime I press Control, Shift and J, it will enter the words Excel off the grid into that cell. Now obviously this is a really simple macro. You can record something that is much more complex. If you want to change our shortcut key or if we already have a macro that we want to assign a shortcut to, we can go to Macros, View Macros. I'll select that item and then go to Options and there we have the ability to change the name of the shortcut key that we want to use. So that's it. We've created our own shortcut key. Control, Shift, J, add Excel off the grid into a cell. The next method for creating our own keyboard shortcut involves using the on key event inside the Visual Basic Editor. So let's open that up. I'll press Alt and F11. That now opens up the Visual Basic Editor. Here, you can see the code that we created for our previous section. And it even tells us what the shortcut key was that we recorded. Now, we're going to create a new macro. And I'm going to call this Shortcut 2. And let's have it so it performs exactly the same action. Now, in our This Workbook module, we want to use the workbook and then the open event. So that means each time this workbook opens, this macro runs automatically. And we're going to use application dot on key. Now in here, we can provide the text string that we want to use. There's a whole article on the Microsoft website that describes what keys we can use. We can use control and shift. We can even use the special keys such as page up and page down. So we can assign our own shortcuts to any of those keys. For this example, we're going to use control, shift and K. So within double quotes, we're going to use control. That's the symbol for control. Plus is the symbol for shift and K will be the letter that we want to use. Next, we have to declare what macro we want to run. We want to run shortcut two. OK, now if I save this workbook and reopen it, this macro will now run. But for this example, let's just click run to simulate as if this workbook has just been opened. Now we come back to Excel. I press Control Shift K. That now says Excel off the grid in that cell. The final method for creating keyboard shortcuts uses the autocorrect options. So that means that rather than having to type the same text over and over again, we can use a short code that then autocorrects that text. So it operates just like a shortcut key for text. So let's take a look at how we can do this. I'll go to File and then down to Options and that will open up the Excel Options window. In the Proofing section, we then need to go to autocorrect options. In here, we can see it has a list of words. Anytime we type the words in the replace column, it's replaced automatically by the words in the with column. So if I type EOTG, and we want to replace that with Excel off the grid. I'll click add. We can see that's now been added and then I can click OK and then OK again. So then in a cell, I can just type EOTG, press enter and it now says Excel off the grid. We can even use this in a sentence. EOTG is amazing. 
And as you can see, it auto-corrected as soon as we entered those letters, E-O-T-G. And that's it. We've seen five ways that we can create our own custom keyboard shortcuts. These can be commands that don't exist on the ribbon elsewhere. We can even create macros and we can also use that auto correct option. This means we get to customize Excel the way that we want it, which helps us to work faster and more efficiently. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.